Now second chapter, creating endpoint group in Oracle Keyword 21.9. I hope you've been following my video. So we already finished creating the virtual wallet. Now we are creating the endpoint group in Oracle Keyword 21.9. I'm not going to repeat everything what I said, but this is a flow diagram we are following. We already completed this video, so we can probably mark uh, this one. Okay, it's okay. We will leave it like this. So we stand here now. This is the where location. This is where we stand. So this is our current video now, creating the endpoint group. Okay, let's go to our Notepad. So this is a procedure. For creating the endpoint group, we are going to follow this method. Log into the web console as keyword admin. Go to endpoint tab and go to endpoint group. Create, enter the name of the group. So, I think I had a name, endpoint name. Yeah, endpoint group name, I have it here. So, let's do it. Let's go. So, I am already in the keyword 21.9 this is my cluster you may wonder why should i keep both the nodes alive and uh, worry about this and whole name conflict and resolution and all if you looked at my previous video i'm talking about one of the concerns that i have name resolution time 60 seconds is there so why should i be worried about can i shut one vm down so this name resolution down time is not at all there immediately my uh, keyword would have sorry wallet would have come alive the reason why it is is if you keep one of the nodes down the other node will only serve in read only restricted mode in a multi master setup oracle keyword ensures that the oracle classifies all your data into two categories one critical and non critical oracle keyword has a minimum requirement of writing the critical data to the replicated node as well so once you use once you send the data, the critical data, which is a credential data, to one of the nodes in Multimaster Setup, Oracle Keyword will ensure that it replicates that information to the other node before it gives you a successful message that your information is stored with me. So your data is stored in two different locations in two different compute, two different machines. So your data is safe. So that's what Oracle wants to ensure. Okay, in a read write pair, the data needs to be replicated to the other node as well before a success message is given to you. For instance, the keyword, uh, the wallet, sorry, the virtual wallet that we created received a success message after it was replicated to the other node. Maybe I will show you as an example. If I go to 123, a uh, few minutes, let it load uh, and then I'll show you. But anyway, let's continue this video because we are going to create an endpoint group. I'll show you in this video. After it gives me a success message, I should be able to see this endpoint group in both the nodes 122 and 123. It's the best use case. So let's see. So what it says, go to the keyword admin, endpoint, endpoint group. Okay. So we are in 122. We should go to endpoints. Yeah. And you see here in the left navigation, you have endpoint groups. We should go directly to endpoints groups and then create you have an option for create all right take a screenshot for this second let's take it and create it doesn't ask a lot of information just on description and what is the name of the endpoint group So, name and the description of the endpoint is endpoint group for host and DB. Host and DB. GGB is a serial port. If you mark this as make it as unique. It will immediately get me my immediately it will not have the wait time of pending and uh, uh, the name resolution time will not be there it will it will do the validation then only it will create the endpoint group so it will take few minutes so this was there in the other previous video as well but i skipped it but i am doing it this time 
Let me just take a screenshot of it. So we you get a dock at the end. So see this. See it became active the very moment next moment that I saved it. See this is one twenty three. Let's see if uh, here also you are able to see this. This is the other active node. So I showed you two active nodes in my previous video, right? This is the other way uh, node, and we will see if our uh, endpoint group is visible here or not. So let's take a screenshot of this. It immediately came alive. So, being this is web console access, I'm not able to get this uh, data stored as quickly as possible. I can use some tools like screen capture or something to automatically capture it as well. That is fine. Uh, so, we will do it uh, this way. It's working fine. So, let's do. If you go to endpoints, let's see if the endpoint that we recently created is visible or not. Yeah, it is visible, right? This is a multi master setup. So, endpoint group GGSRC OKV01. I don't know why it adds OKV01 to its name hmm? because to make it unique, because we clicked on unique, we made it make it unique, right? That's why it have prefixed or suffixed this name to it to indicate from which OKV it's coming node 01, node ID 01, OKV node ID. So OKV01 is to make it unique. If I did not click on the make it unique, this OKV01 would not have been added. So now I need to change my docker to reflect this. So endpoint group is OKV01 added. OKV01 was added by our group here. So since I selected make it unique let's go on okay we admin so this is finished i hope uh, it's fine with you guys so let's go to the next one where is that so 